We're going to translate a profit word problem to matrices. We're at 13.7a. We have 17 previous videos all about matrices and determinants for Chapter 13. If you become lost or confused, just click in the description to watch what you've missed. Well, some problems can be solved by translating them to a system of equations. Then we can use matrices to solve that system. Other problems can be solved by translating them directly to a matrix and then just performing matrix operations. So I want to have you keep in mind some matrix notation. If A and B are large arrays of numbers, to add the corresponding elements, we write A plus B. To find 10% of each of the elements of A, we write 0 0.10 in parentheses times A. That's 10% of matrix A. And to add twice each number in A to B, we would write 2 a plus B for 2 times A plus B. All right? So we're going to talk about apples. An orchard grows Macintosh, Gala, and Jonathan apples. The apples are sold in boxes to two different markets. The profit is $5.75 on a box of Macintosh apples, $3.25 on Gala, and $2 on Jonathan's. And this table shows the number of boxes sold. So you can see there's two markets, A and B, and Macintosh sells 200 at market A and 180 at market B. Gala sells 150 at A and 250 at B. Jonathan sells 300 at market A and 200 at market B. I'm going to find the amount of profit generated by sales to each market. So first, we have to think, what do we need to find? We need to find the orchard's profit from each market, A and B. And what information do we have? Well, we have those quantities that were given in the table, and we know the profits on each box, the $5.75, the $3.25, and the $2. And now we can develop and carry out a plan. We can represent the market information in a 3 by 2 matrix. We're going to let M equal market, and we're going to let P equal profit. So here's the market information from the table. And here's the profit information that we know they get for each box. So now we have two matrices. The product of the two matrices, the P times M, will be a 1 by 2 matrix that will determine the profit from each market, A and B. So we write our matrices. Here's our profits. We're going to multiply it by the amount sold at the markets. Here's A and here's B. And we do $5.75 times 200, and we add that to $3.25 times 150, and we add that to $2 times 300. We do our multiplication and addition. Then we do the same thing again for market B. We do $5.75 times the 180. We do the $3.25 times the 250, and the $2 times the 200, and we do our multiplication and addition. Here's market A. Here's market B. We add these all up, and we get $2,237.50 for market A and $2,247 for market B. See? That was pretty straightforward and easy, wasn't it? We just translated the information directly from the word problem in the table into matrices, and we just multiplied them and solved them. All right? In our next video, 13.7b, we're going to translate a currency word problem to matrices. Find out how many tens, ones, twenties, fives that is in the word problem. All right? It's going to be a link to those 17 previous videos for Chapter 13, and I'm going to add this to the Algebra 2 playlist. And we're almost done with Algebra 2. So I'll see you next video. Bye.